Did we decide what year that's from? Sing along, everybody. Hanging Tough, okay. 1988. All right. Ooh. So you were like... Middle-aged. Uh, yeah? <laughs> Shoot, come on. I was in eighth grade. We're supposed to go with the script here. Oh, yeah, you're hanging with Dre Tough with a great day, St. Louis, today. And we're so pumped because we're getting ready for the big new kids on the block. Backstreet Boys Con Scott Trade Center. And if you don't have tickets, don't worry because two lucky Great Day viewers will win four tickets each. Stick around to see how you can yeah. register to win those tickets. Hot ticket, too. Now, there's a restraining order involved here involving Virginia, so we couldn't get Jordan, Joey, and the rest of the gang actually on the show. Uh, but we did get the next best thing. We're going to introduce you to Midnight Red. These guys are the opening for the bands tonight. So we'll test their dancing skills, I hear. They're pretty cute. A little later yeah. on on the yeah. show. Their right. dancing skills, we're testing Matt, too. He's dancing oh, with them. Exciting. Lord help us all. All right, we hope your Tuesday is going well. It is already hot out there. And welcome into Great Day St. Louis, by the yeah. way. Actually, I got an angry call from a uh, Scott Trade Center concert promoter because my forecast high today, yeah. 98 degrees. 98 oh. degrees. Oh, I get it. I get it. Very Think about good. it. Think about it. It'll come to you later today. It Nicholas is going to be another hot one. The excessive yeah. heat warning continues right through Saturday now. They extended that yesterday. Just an indication that we're not going to get any significant breaks in this. The only hope for a break would be for some rain and some thunderstorms, which may slide through Illinois later on this afternoon. We'll have to wait and see what happens. Yep. But the East odds of that are not Yeah, what kind of break are we talking? Well, you know, the temp rain can knock the temperature down to the 70s for I about know, 15 but I, seconds. Yeah. <laughs> then, and then, then, but then it's after, even more humid. Well, and then yeah. when the sun comes back yeah. out, then it's just brutal. But yeah, uh, we hope you don't have to deal with any bad storms today. Coming up on the show, we are putting the kids to work. When is the right age for your child to begin helping out around the house? We'll break it down for you by age and by chore. Also coming up, we're going to show you how to make your own pickles. Mm. They make such an easy, healthy snack. I love pickles. And the circus is in town, and it's not just any circus, my friends. Oh, no, no, no. It is the Universe Soul Circus. And we'll show you what this family-friendly circus is all about. But first, we send it over to Mr. Matthews. Big day, Kent. Big day, my friend, because today on Great Day St. Louis, Daddy's little tax deductions become Daddy's little day laborers. We're going to help <laughs> you put your kids to work. We wanted to know the appropriate age, though, for kids to begin helping out around the house. So we asked an expert, our friend and parenting coach, Pam Dyson, for some suggestions. Pam, welcome back to Great Day St. Louis. It's always good to be here. Well, Carol, in particular, got very excited when we started talking about this yesterday because uh -huh. she said what we were all thinking, which is you get a couple of bottles, a couple of diaper changes, and then boom, you go to work. Yeah. And actually, based on what you're telling us, that's not far from reality. But we have to go into this with reasonable expectations. We do. Right? We do. Even a preschool age child, two, three year old, can be a contributing member of the household and do some things. So we just have to make sure we're giving them age appropriate chores and that we are, what we expect is. Is gonna, you know, they're gonna meet those expectations. Because our definition of a perfectly good, uh, well-made bed is not a four-year-old's definition of a right. well-made bed. That's right. So sometimes we have to lower our expectations a little bit in order for them to be able to participate and do chores. When we start, and we'll get to a very specific breakdown of mm -hmm. what age range can do, what sort of chore for you in just a second. But when we start thinking about assigning these chores and giving them some instruction, you got to be really, really specific. Don't you do, you? and you need to tell us a, a young child. You can't just say go clean your room. They'll go in and go, oh, there's so much stuff here. Sure, I don't know where yeah. to start. So you could say, put the books on the shelves, put the stuffed animals on the bed, put the dirty clothes in the hamper, step by step. Um, with the younger kids anyway, really will help them. Much better than saying, yeah. go clean your room, right. which, as you mentioned, is mm -hmm. just totally overwhelming. Mm -hmm. You're a big fan, too, of putting this in writing. What do I you mean am. By that? You know, young children especially are very visual. Mm -hmm. They do better if they can see something. So if we give them a picture chart, maybe pictures of them actually doing the chores, they're going to be much able, more able to follow what we want them to do. And for older children, a list. They can read it. They can check it off as oh, they complete good. their chores. And maybe we'll talk about a little reward incentive, too, yeah. in a second, too. Age-appropriate chores. As we try to get into specifics here, again, we have to be sure that the tasks we're assigning the 2-year-old versus the 8-year-old are going to be of different scales and magnitude, mm -hmm. right? A 2-year-old might want a vacuum. But right. I don't know that that's necessarily going to be a good age appropriate. <laughs> they chore. might have fun vacuuming. Right, their right. Yeah, but a two year old could certainly put their toys on the shelf. They could put their dirty laundry in the hamper. Those are age appropriate for a two to three year old. Fill uh, Kitty or Fido's bowl of sure. food or water, too. Sure, they could okay. do that. Mm -hmm. I like that. Let's work our way up the list a little right. bit. Ages four to five. Mm -hmm. What about this range? Um, well, they could make her their bed, mm -hmm. they could fold laundry. So, oh, I like the laundry folding. Yeah. This is the point where they're becoming very helpful. Maybe empty some waste baskets. Sure. 
Okay, uh, in that six to seven range, mm -hmm. now we're probably getting a little more helpful around meal time, yeah, possibly. Yeah, they could set the table, mm -hmm. help clear the table when they're finished eating. Um, so, yeah, those are certainly some things that they can help with around Sweep in the kitchen. Sweep the floor, I see on the yeah. list there, too. Oh, Give them a Swiffer wet jet, let them go at it. My three-year-old cannot be six or seven soon enough. <laughs> uh, all right, ages eight to nine, uh, we come home from the grocery store, and suddenly they can help us they can. do a little shelving. They can put the groceries away, certainly. And um, maybe even help make dinner at this yeah, point? Yeah, with some supervision, okay, certainly. Sure. Some simple meals, yeah. They could certainly help do that. Now we get to the ripe old age of ten and above, mm -hmm. and instead of helping with dinner, suddenly it becomes maybe they're making dinner. They maybe could if there's some simple things that you've taught them how to properly use, you know, kitchen equipment sure. that they could do. They could be part of that as well. Lord knows Definitely. they're they're using the bathroom and they're using their beds, so they might as well have a hand in cleaning those. Yeah, too. clean the bathroom, change the bed lens. How about washing the car? Oh, I like that. I yeah, like that even better. I even know a couple of ten year olds who are mowing the yard now. That's it. I, that was a, it was about ten for uh -huh. me. Before we let you go, quickly, what do you think about allowance or being paid mm -hmm. for chores? That sort um, of thing? That's always a touchy issue with parents because sure. we don't want to pay kids for everything because then they're going to expect it. Right. But I think if we give children a small allowance every week, mm -hmm. and if they don't do their chores, well, then there's a consequence. So if you don't do your chore and I have to do it, then you have to pay me out of your allowance uh, to do your chore, or, or you have to pay your brother to do your chore. Yeah, your me. older brother Mikey pulled through, so he gets two. Yeah, of your a little quarters. motivating to get I children like to that. maybe follow through on their chores if you can. Manage that money aspect of it. Excellent tips, Pam. Thank you very much. You're we welcome. appreciate it. If you want more, and Isaac and Addie at home, oh, they want more <laughs> right now. They're going to get more. I'm putting my kids to work when I get home. We've put a link to Pam's website on our website, greatdaystlouis.com. Thanks again. You bet. Today on Facebook, we're going to continue this conversation. Do you assign your chores to your kids? If so, what are you telling them to do, and how old are they, and how's it working for you? Frankly, that's what we want to know. Get on our Facebook page and let us know.